Lisa flying out tonight for the World T20 and the ICC Awards. Um, looking forward to it? Yeah, looking really forward to it. Um, the fact that uh, I'm going with Elisa Healy, it means I've got a, a buddy to keep company and uh, we've got a few days uh, extra in Sri Lanka before the rest of the girls get there. And what do you plan, how do you plan to spend those days um, before the awards? Uh, I think uh, uh, Catherine Fitzpatrick has organised training with Mickey Arthur, so we'll do some training, but I think there'll be a bit of uh, lying by the pool, getting acclimatised and getting used to the conditions. The Southern Stars, they've been over for a 10-day camp in August. You've had this time back with the breakers for your preparation. How's it been going for you? It's been good. Uh, we've been able to, to work with uh, Joanne Broadbent, so when we came back she was already in the role. Uh, training's been pretty difficult. Uh, you know, Mick McLennan's been smashing balls at us in the dark and we've just got to try and catch it. And we've had a few uh, matches, the City v Country clashes, which I'm proud to say City retained uh, the uh, Lorna Thomas Shield. Uh, so it's been a good chance for us to prepare with the breakers. So Lisa Healy, a nominee for the World T20 Player of the Year. How does that feel? Um, it's actually pretty incredible. It's kind of surreal. I still don't know that it's actually really happened, but um, I'm pretty chuffed nonetheless and I'm um, excited to head over for the awards. How are you rating your chances in amongst Lisa Starlaker, Sarah Taylor, Stephanie Taylor? Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I think I've got no chance, so I'm just going to go and enjoy myself. Um, look, I really hope that an Aussie can take home the award, so I hope Lisa grabs it, but um, I think Stephanie Taylor's um, in with a real chance. Um, while you guys are over there early as well, I think you and Lisa have got to organise some training on your own. How is it training on your own and not as part of the group? Is it easy to motivate yourself to do that? Um, yeah, it's a little different. I've only ever really sort of, um, especially leading in a tournament, it's trained with the team and, you know, it's a big team atmosphere, team build up. But obviously, as you said, Lisa and I are going over early, it's just going to be us two. So I think um, we're both going to be all right. We're both going to motivate one another to get going every day. And obviously, if we work hard every morning and then we can go out and enjoy the afternoon in Sri Lanka with the days off. So uh, we're both pretty excited, but um, obviously we won't, won't be taking anything for granted and we want to win the World Cup.